Hey friends, if you encounter a blue screen error with the stop code internal power error, then please watch this video. I will guide you through the resolutions. So the resolutions are as follows. The first one is to check for hardware connections. Now, what does it mean? Check that the RAM modules, the graphics card and the power cables, everything is securely connected to your motherboard. And if you cannot do it, then please call a hardware technician. The second thing is that check for overheating. Now here's what happens. In some places, the temperature soars up to 40 degrees Celsius, 45 degrees Celsius. And without an air conditioner, your system will keep on failing because the internal computer temperature will rise to such limits that the fans will not be sufficient to vent out the heat. The next solution is to update drivers. So right click on the start button and select settings from the menu. Go to the Windows Update tab on the list on the left hand side. Select Advanced Options in the right pane. Select Optional Updates and install any optional updates available. The next solution will be to uh, adjust the power settings. Now, how do we do this? Press the Windows key and the R button together to open the run window. Type the command powercfg.cpl and hit enter. Make sure that the balanced power plan is selected. The last solution is to update the BIOS. How do we do this? So, uh, for example, I use an ASUS computer. You may be using a Dell, HP, Lenovo, Infinix computer, anything. Now, I'll uh, the procedure remains the same. So, I'll show it for ASUS. Search for ASUS BIOS update in the Bing or Google search bar. Go to the download center. Now, you need to type the model of your system. Mine is FA507RE and I will select this one. You can check the model number of your computer on a sticker which is at the bottom of your computer. Select drivers and tools. Now scroll down and click on BIOS and firmware and let it load. And then click on BIOS. And then uh, it will download. And once it downloads, simply click on it to install it. I won't do it because it will update my BIOS. But you have to click on this option here. Uh, depending upon the brand of your system. Was this helpful? If yes, then please subscribe to the channel and if not, then let us know in the comment section of this video on how we could help you further. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day.